Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today we have Ferris Ra in the Soul Forge. So I want to show you three teams you can use with Ferris Ra. One being a new one that I just made up recently. So stay tuned for that if you've already seen the other two, because I'm sure you have Soul Farming, you know. So we got two teams that are specifically used for soul farming one's the best in the game the other is good for you know other things but also probably the second best soul farming team in the game third i have a new team that i just made up that you can use in other areas if you want to just soul farm all the time with ferris Ra. so yeah he's in the soul forge right now 24 blue brown purple kitar divine undead transform yellow gems to purple deal damage to an enemy boosted by my souls give 20 souls and he has that necromaster which is the most important gain 150 percent bonus souls from battle all right so first thing you're wanna, gonna want to do when you are soul farming is you're gonna want to put the right armor on if you do not have the death knight armor you're gonna want to go get uh your correct armor on which is your celestial so i didn't have it on and now i do so if you don't have death knight armor which is only 20 bucks right now um you want to equip your celestial which costs 500 gems after that you want to make sure your pet if you can your moon moon pet is all the way fully ascended not something you could just do like right now if you don't have it done but um if you can if you ever see a moon moon you might want to might be one of the only pets you would invest gems into as like a, a lower level player but it's still debatable but it does give you five percent extra bonus souls from battles you do not have to equip it on your shoulder you get it no matter what as long as it's in your stable and fully ascended so that's another five percent souls on top of the hundred percent we're getting from our armor and then the hundred and fifty percent we're getting from ferris Ra. so let's go over these teams um let us go to explore somewhere and i'll show you the first one the the new one's going to be at the end so if you if you already know these then um then oh, i just previewed it real quick did you see it that was it <laughs> all right uh let's see where is my soul farming teams this is the new one where's the best one did i stuff like this is what you should cut out maybe if i don't talk during it then I would know to cut it out, you know? But, um, this is the new one, I think. Yeah. Okay, okay. Never mind. Anyway, where is it? All right, right here. Here is the best soul farming team in the game. So if you're coming here just for that, I've done plenty of videos on it. It is rather new, though. This is the last year or two this, this came out. But, um, yeah, it's phylactery, uh, which you get from mastery. Really easy. It's a uh, blue and purple mastery. Um, so every time you level up, you get to choose between two colors, and you should choose brown, and then red, and then purple, and then blue. But eventually you'll still you'll get phylactery, so that's cool. And then sacrificial priest, he's just a, a ultra rare. You should be able to get from Karakoth or just opening chests. Here's Ferris Ra, the man of the hour, and Leprechaun, bright forest ultra rare. So let's show this team. I don't know if I have the right medals on. Hmm probably doesn't matter i mean i need more attack but with this team all you want to do is hit your leprechaun and you want to get that stinky stinky phylactery up and i probably shouldn't have done that because i could have took this purple and got him up bear with me here i haven't used this team in a while because ever since the um you know ever since iron hawks and and pity keys and all that jazz has come into the game we haven't needed to soul farm as much so let's get our phylactery up that's the main thing just this is not how slow it's normally gonna go just give me give me a second here once again something i should probably cut out but it's all right you're not always gonna have the smoothest battles ever but yeah the uh, sacrificial priest uh will sacrifice an ally and do damage to everybody in the other team all you got to do before that is have uh cast your phylactery so we will cast our leprechaun Hopefully it gets up your, your Sacrificial Priest, but it doesn't always, so sometimes you have to do like that. Then you got to cast this, and then you cast this on that, or your Sacrificial Priest, or whatever has the most attack for you. So you can hit and, you know, wipe them in one shot, so it's quick. And yeah, just go to Explore Difficulty 1, use this team, cast Leprechaun, cast Phylactery, cast Sacrificial Priest on either Sacrificial Priest or your hero. Uh, so let's do it one more time here. We'll do it a couple more times, because it's like a groove you got to get into. You're not just automatically going to go super fast as soon as you start. It's kind of like a groove, so... Phylactery... I keep pushing the wrong button there. 
I do my hero just because that's where it lands on PS4. It lands on that, so I just cast it so it's faster. But uh, technically, casting it on Sacrificial Priest would be a little bit stronger if you're having trouble uh, clearing in one shot, which hopefully you aren't. This is only difficulty one. But Leprechaun... There we go. That's perfect. Ready? That's how fast it should go. This is the best soul farming team in the game. That was a great example of how the team should work. Let's see if we can do it twice in a row. And then we'll move on to the other soul farming team, which can can do a little bit more difficult stuff for you. Should have took that blue up there, but we're still good. That was perfect. When, they, when it gets both of them up, it's perfect. Boom. Souls. 120 out of 120 up there. And per battle, we get 306. So 306 per battle. You can probably do three or four battles every minute. Or, you know, maybe six, something like that. I don't know. You sh I don't know how many you can do a minute, but times it by, by that, and that's how many souls you can get a minute. It's at least 1,000, probably almost 2,000. Anyway, let's do the other one. So we need to get in here and, and run away, and because you also use this in Explore, but you're going to use it on Difficulty 5 Explore. So let me retreat here. Okay. So we're going to go to 5 now, Difficulty 5. And we're going to go grab our other soul farming team, our other Ferris Ra team, which is this one right here. So we have Judge of the Dead, Phylactery, Ferris Ra, Leprechaun. So the only difference here is the Judge of the Dead instead of the Sacrificial Priest, which is a legendary that you get from Hellgate in the Underworld. Um, but he deals damage to all enemies boosted by my souls. So you're going to want to, once again, probably cast Phylactery and then cast Judge of the Dead. Um, Ferris Ra boosting and all that. I got Arch Magus, uh, double blue, brown, minus yellow. I'll also go back to the other team and show you my class and a uh, banner as well, since I forgot that. Alright, so here we got this yellow extra turn. Might as well, right? Let's do Leprechaun. Nobody got up, but uh, we probably just take purple and blue here. There we go. Probably going to want to cast this first, and then cast this. Boom, that's difficulty 5. So that's the first difficulty where you start getting two trophies. So this is kind of like the second best soul farming team. But you can also farm trophies and like get a little bit of extra gold and, and other stuff while you're doing it. So some people like this team, some people like the first team. If you're just going strictly, you know, all the way out full throttle just getting souls, I would say the first team's probably the best. But if you also want a little bit of gold, a little bit of trophies, this team's probably a little bit better for if you, you know... Squirrel. Oh, uh, let's do Leprechaun. And we need to get up our Judge. Which, you know, this will get, like, you guys, this is getting, like, um, normally you're going to get everything up more often than it's looking like here. I just have video luck. Streamer luck. Channel luck. Whatever you want to call it. Let's do it to where we do a perfect battle once or twice in a row. Then I'll show you my new Ferris Raw team that I made up today that uh, I think you could use in, in, in even another area of the game to soul farm. Uh, Leprechaun. There we go. Let's judge. I wonder if he would. Let's see. Nah, see, he won't clear. You got to do the phylactery. I just wanted to test that. Just wanted to test it. Let's test it on video to make the video longer so people don't click on it. Good idea, bro. In a, in a month where you're struggling, do that. Self saboteur. That is Cine Cool. Cine Cool, the self saboteur. All right, let's go. Let's do a couple in a row that are just blazing fast. All right, any extra turns? I don't see it. So Leprechaun. Hope that they both get up. Yes, perfect. They gotta cast this first, and then this. Boom! They're all dead. Difficulty five. Two trophies. Look, two trophies. Two hundred fifty-five souls. So like I said. It's not like it's faster than the other team. It can just clear higher difficulties. The other team is probably faster, and it gets 306 souls per instead of 255. So the other one's technically faster if you're going all out, balls out, full throttle for only souls. But this one, you know, give you a little bit extra gold, a little bit, another trophy per battle, blah, blah, blah. So Leprechaun, they didn't both get up, so purple's what you're going to want to take, but we don't have it, so I guess we're going to do blue here. And we need brown or purple. There we go. So hopefully the battles that uh, go super smooth outweigh the battles that uh, go like that, which is still pretty quick. 
you'll still have a pretty fast average. But uh, yeah, so that's the second team. Now let's go check out the third team, which I was doing PvP. So let's say, hey, you want to be just doing souls all the time. You want to use Ferris Ra all the time. So you're doing Explorer Difficulty 1, um, just to farm souls specifically. You're doing uh, Explorer Difficulty 5 to get your trophies, to get a little bit more gold, to maybe farm some tokens, and also get souls, right? Now, I have this team for you, which you can do your PvP to, uh, Tier 1. You could probably do Difficulty 12 Explore um, and other stuff. So, if your other two teams aren't strong enough, you can use this team that I'm about to show you. It's under Campaign in the Ass, but uh, it's actually a Divine Ishbala uh, Ferris Ra team. So, I was looking at Ferris Ra. I'm like, I need to make a new team for Ferris Ra. If I'm going to do another video on soul farming and Ferris Ra, I really need to come up with a new team. So, that's what I went into this thinking. I'm like, alright, Divine Undead, what does he do? Transform yellow gems to purple, deal damage to an enemy, boosted by my souls, give 20 souls. So, I'm like, I can either do Divine or Undead. I was like, well, if I do Divine, I'm transforming yellow gems to purple. I could use Divine Ishbala, who has a 40% start for Divine. And then Yellow Gems to Purple is pretty good with that, because she uses purple, she makes yellow, and then, you know, he could turn yellow to purple, she can turn green to yellow, they're both making yellow, then we, uh, you know, so that's what I was thinking there. Keelan, always peanut butter and jelly with Divine Ishbala, and then instead of Rope Dart, Div uh, Divine Protector, because we need some mana generation here on this team. But let's check it out. This is in PvP. Not sure how many souls you're going to get in PvP, but it's to say, if you're going all the way full throttle with Ferris Ra here, then this is what I would do. So I try to take a green or blue here. So let's do uh, let's do blue. I'm trying to get Divine Protector up first, just to get our mana rolling. Uh oh, hopefully I don't get trolled by a one trophy. All right. There we go, that makes a bunch of red and yellow based on how many divines are on your team. Everything on our team is full divines, so now we have um, Divine uh, Ishbala right here. She turns skulls red to skulls. So anytime you got that, you're kind of wanna going to want to take it. Okay, now look at this. Look at this. This is why Ferris Ra's on the team, right? Look at all that yellow and purple alignment. Boom, we got that. Now Keelan should be turning purple into red. It's not going to happen here, but it should happen, you know, some of the time. Um, let's do that first, and then we'll do this. Now I'm looking for Divine Ishbala, I'm looking for Keelan, I'm looking for Ferris Ra. And I don't see any of it. Let's do this first. Now we have Keelan, who just made us so much red. Because Ferris Ra cast before him, made a bunch of purple. Now, Divine Ishbala will be even better after Keelan because of the Ferris Ra. Now we have Ferris Ra again. Who hits single target pretty hard, right? Here he is again. So I could keep doing that if I wanted to. But we have Divine Ishbala. And we have Keelan. No, I don't think so. But uh, we'll do this. And Ferris Ra, we don't have. But uh, do we have Keelan? No. Alright, we'll do this. Extra turn. Um, now we have it. Rid of him. We have Keelan. Yes. That makes a ton of red, and if they were still alive, boom. Divine Ishbala after that. Alright, let's do at least one more with this, but can you see how it's working there? It's the normal Divine Ishbala Keelan team, except for you're adding in that extra Ferris Ra single target damage that's turning um, yellow to purple. Uh, and then all that purple can then be turned by Keelan into red. And then all that red can be turned into skulls by Divine Ishbala. Hopefully this isn't a troll team. I'd like to just win. <laughs> uh, should be a live stream tomorrow, 10 a.m. EST, as long as my daughter's feeling better and goes to school. Um... All right, so here we... I want green, I want blue. Because that's our mana generation. So we don't have it, though. So after that, I'd probably... Red sounds good. Now we got the green into purple. Here's some more green. Oh, there's a big old blue down there. How'd I miss that? 
Don't matter, we're facing fire bombs. No big deal. Too busy talking. Alright, we got Keelan. Do we have it, though? Nah, yeah, we do. It's over there. Alright, we need yellow. Alright, now we got this. I'm glad that last battle showed you how the Ferris Ra would be used, because some of the time you're not even going to use it in these battles, but uh, at least you got to see that. Uh, sure, we'll take blue. And then, do we have Divine Ishbala or Keelan? No Keelan. How about Divine Ishbala? Red, green to yellow? No? Okay, let's do that. Um, then, then, I don't know. What should we do? I don't know. Let's just take this blue. And we got Divine Protector. Do we have anything else? Let's just go with it. It makes a bunch of the colors we need to get alignment and stuff. Hey, we have this. Makes all that purple, right? And then hopefully you get this, right? So hopefully this will be another good example of the way it's working. I didn't just, like, throw Ferris Ra onto a Divine Shabala Keelan team. I had thought about it. They're all divine. The colors he converts works good with Divine Shabala and Keelan. So it's not like I'm just throwing Ferris Ra on a Zul'goth team or something. I'm, I, it has some synergy. And then you get a little bit of extra souls. You know, 153, that's going to be, like... A hundred more than you would normally get, I would say. Or at least twice as many as you'd normally get. So, yeah, that's my idea for a new Ferris Ra team. Ferris Ra on the Soul Forge right now. Um, let's uh, show you those. So I got Priest class here. I got double blue, yellow, minus brown. Oh, why'd I do that? I'll show you the other one in case I forgot. I got Thief class here. Double purple, yellow, minus red. And then on the last one, I think I already showed you, but uh, got Arch Magus, double blue brown, minus yellow. So, I wonder if that's right. Yeah, that should be good. Anyway, that's it for today. Ferris Ra's in the Soul Forge right now. It's still one of the best ways to soul farm in the game. Even though, you know, these days it's probably better off to get two Iron Hawks than it is to get two Ferris Ra's or even one Ferris Ra. You should probably prioritize Iron Hawk over Ferris Ra even for soul farming, and yeah, that's what I would say, but hey, if you happen to have Ferris Ra, or you happen to have 8,000 diamonds, and you want to get one this week, or you just want to go the old-fashioned way and do Ferris Ra, these are three teams you could use to soul farm, and to do pretty much everything in the game. I just showed you three teams that could probably take care of most of the stuff in the game, to where you could soul farm while you're doing pretty much everything. But anyway, I'll see y'all tomorrow for that live stream, 10 a.m. EST. I'll make sure to have all the MVS stuff up to date, Hopefully we'll bring back the poop train and, you know, hashtag save February. That's up to y'all. And, uh, yeah, I'll see y'all next time. Like, share, subscribe, consider joining. Helps a lot. Tell your good about the channel. Comment below. And I'll see y'all next time. I already said that. Peace. Love ya. You're the best.